What's up, YouTube? Today I want to be talking about um, making my tracks because I've had a lot of questions on YouTube asking me why do I use the sequence to create my tracks instead of doing them on tracks and then explode them or you know finish them all on separate tracks here. And the reason why I do it like this is because I've I've I found that it's a lot easier to do them on the sequence while I'm building up and listening to my track and then when at the end I'm done it's a lot easier for me to just jump right into a uh, song mode and you know and, and throw my sequences in there I've, I found that if I use track yeah I mean you, you can put all your tracks in there and and it works good and everything but I find it takes me more time to, to go through the tracks and and do all the work through the tracks and then you know having to take out whatever I don't want to build up again you know it's like going back again I do it all in the tracks but then I have to go back again and see what I don't want and and the first sequence and what I want on the second sequence and whatnot and I find that if I'm just doing it by sequence I'm already having it already already just to throw into the song well, for example I got this my first sequence right there that's how it's gonna start I don't have to go back to track or anything I can just take that sequence copy it to the second sequence and I got something else on top which is that piano that's my second sequence and I can repeat as many times as I want when I'm in song mode so I just leave it like that jump to the third sequence go ahead and let that roll twice let's say or three whatever times I want hit to the fourth sequence because I copy sequence one to two and then build up and I find it a lot easier like this a lot faster for me in my opinion others say that it's a waste of time others say that why do I do it like that I mean this this however it works for you and I find this is the way it works for me and um so let's say I have all that there. On the last video I had on the beginner's tutorial, I didn't show the song mode part. And this is what I'm explaining on this one. I could have added more, I could have done whatever, but for the purpose of the video, and since I do like making them short as possible, um, let's say I got those sequences there, I got five sequences covered. All I do here is go into the song mode, song mode, insert five times, and then, you know, choose my sequence, sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, sequence four, sequence five, and I'm pretty much done. I didn't have to mess around too much on the tracks and all this and that. You know, once I have my stuff laid out, man, it's just straight from sequence to the song mode. I don't have to go back again and mute and do anything else because I already built it up while I was going. So, in that case, I only got it to repeat one time, so it's going to be short. It's going to be short. Too bad you can't mess with him while you're in here, but I had to put six on that one. Let the bass come in. And if you hit sudden, it'll switch so you can find where you're at. You don't have to listen to the whole thing.
and that's pretty much it. That's the main reason why I do it. It's just easier for me. There's no to me. There's no right or wrong way to do it. If the results, at, if the end results are the way that you wanted it, well, that's the way it's done. There's no looking. You know, yeah, they might be short because that some one might not know about. But doing it by the track to me is it, it takes longer. It's more. It's more work, and I and I try to get things done as as quick as I can. I don't want to be stuck in the beat. What I do is I load all my sounds, and I don't got too many right here on track one in the program. Then on track two, the only thing I do is I uh, I use my my key, and that's pretty much it. That's the reason why I like to use the sequence a lot faster. All I did was throw a kick just for the video. I just threw a kick in there. Nothing special, nothing. So that's about it. That's the reason why I use it like this. Try it. If you're new and you're not used to the track and going back and forth and you don't like it, try it this way. Like I said, I, I do it here on the sequence mode, build up. And if I had to go back for any reason, let's say on sequence three. I wanted something there. Like something like an effect or something anything you know let's say i wanted something i i got empty pads i got all these empties anyway if i wanted something just on that one like i felt like i needed something i just go back here browse and add it to one of the pads that are empty so i just come here and uh let's say let's say i wanted to crash right on that three uh, i'm not getting no crash i can use that symbol right there let's see Let's go with that symbol just for the hell of it. So all I do is one, two, three. And that's it. I'm done. And now it's going to jump from two to three. Let's say it's going to sound like this. That's it. See how simple? So that's about it for now. That's what I wanted to talk about. Um, like I said, if, if, if you find that uh, using the track and doing all the other stuff is too difficult because you're new to this, try it like that. See if it works out for you. I mean, it worked for me. I mean, that's the way I do it. Um, every now and then I try the track way just to see if I can find a way that's easier, but I still find it better like this for me. And that's how I continue to do it. So guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.